Hey guys, almost addicted here, and today I want to build, um, or show you how to build a modern house with a pool and make it a really easy, minimalistic tutorial for a change. So uh, all the things we'll need is pretty much in the hot bar here. Uh, might need a couple of stacks of white concrete, but you can use some quartz and stuff like that. Maybe a few bits of grass, maybe some of birch planks, maybe a stack or two, a stack or two of the spruce, stack or two of the light. Um, light glass but you can use whatever glass you want and yeah let's try it so i'm gonna go up by one two three maybe four and 13 this way so we'll count this one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and we'll bring it up so we could have our doorway here so maybe maybe we could get some birch so maybe one two three four here and uh Let's bring this out by one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, and bring the birch to this point as well. And then at the end, we can kind of, uh, yeah, put some stairs there. Um, so that will do for now for that. And um, let's see, what we could do here is make our little doorway here, and then we could have our stairs going up from this point. So bring our stairs out like this. And maybe we could block that up like that and have our little doorway here. So I'm gonna have the doorway in from this side. And then down the side of here, let's bring the white concrete up to this point, maybe a bit more. And then just where we're covering the stairs there and bring this over to here bring it out by another one and then this is where we could probably put the stairs like that I'm gonna grab some of the light blue stained glass this is kind of a bit of an experiment doing a bit more simplistic stuff and seeing if um, yeah people like um, a bit more simplistic stuff so yeah might as well give it a try I guess and um, so from this point here right we've got that going to there let's bring it all the way across and just fill this in so we can square this off and fill this point in with our white concrete or quartz. Come on. There we go. And if you want more detailed builds, make sure you check out my channel. And uh, yeah, I'm sure there's loads of them. Um, well, there is loads of them because now I put them there. So, <laughs> right, I'm going to go out by one. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for now. And let's do this. And we can have the floor in all in white as well. So we'll fill all this in. Kind of do it for people in survival as well. So uh, I know I've been doing a lot of detailed builds. Uh, people have been asking for some smaller builds. So I'm just going to do some smaller ones as well and kind of mix it up. And just uh, a bit of everything so everyone is happy, I guess. To there right okay so now at this point we've got that bit there that looks cool and um, let's go across to let's make a little kind of garden bit here that kind of goes into the build a little bit so maybe two lots and bring it up to right here and then we can go around fill it up like that so we've got a garden point there and then maybe we could make the pool five wide. Maybe five wide might be cool. One, two, three, four, five. Like that. And uh, yeah, let's make it a nice and wide one. Like that. We could maybe bring this forward a bit more. And then we could fill it in. So we grab a water. Water bucket and uh, replace it with the doors because I've finished with the doors now so yeah got a swimming pool there and if you want to take out some of this and fill it underneath I'm going to keep it one deep but you can make it as deep as you like maybe you can have an underground base going leading from the water source going in underneath the house that might be quite cool as well might be worth a try so I'm going to bring these up to this point here might have it just at that point there and then we can go up with this and across right so maybe go up here 
and uh, yeah I'm gonna fill that in so four uh, which means we can expand this one more so what we've done here we can do at the other side so find it where we're just we're not there we're just in there like that and kind of copying what we've done over there we can fill that in okay and then a white one next to it and then maybe we can have yeah I'll see I'll see so bring this across like this and maybe we could have a two window here and a two window here and a three should be in the middle like that okay and uh, maybe we could expand this and bring it around the build and just locks into there like that makes it look nice and clean and then we can go do the top part even so from the top part let's imagine it's going all the way through like that let's do three high we'll do exactly the same here so imagine where this is coming through one two three and we can start to put a roof on so following the roof design here at the bottom following that bottom kind of thing there you can put some skylights in or something if you would like but I'm gonna keep it like that for now okay so let's have a two window here I'd say maybe a two like that and um, maybe we could have this is a double I might double it up on the inside as well because it might make it look a little bit more interesting so another two there doubling up on the inside and then of course we can have this going around it now and we can fill it in you can have a skyline there so you can fill it with glass but I'm just gonna fill it in plain keep it really simple keep it nice and minimalistic so once we've got that point there let's bring this back one more but just on this area here and then we can have maybe a three glass one two three bring those up like that remove this excess and then we can have another one going up to there I'm going to do exactly the same here so might as well bring this up to the point have our three glass in the middle there and there and then we could do this roof a little bit different so we could go to there bring it round just so we have a bit of a different overhang there like that what we could do for this point is um, yeah I'll leave it like that that looks good and then have something like this we can have our doorway into the place I'm gonna have some glass at the top like that fill this in nice and then we could have another doorway here but I guess we could start doing this bit here so bring this all the way around I kind of want this as an enclosed area so we could have this going through like that and then put one here and then we can just put a window every other one except for the last two we can close all this off or you can put a window in there which I think will look cool we could even have this so you've got an outside bit here like that and we can double that up one more we could close that bit off and turn it into a window like that and then we could put this across the floor here and then of course where we've got these window parts so it's kind of the same we can have a three doorway there 
double that up, we can turn this into glass. I'm just going to have a kind of glass opening door there. Fill these windows in. And then you can kind of walk down. We could maybe have some like this. We could have this as a glass. Filling up that point there. And then, yeah. Get this flooring in. And we can put the birch down. Or you could use oak or something like that. I think oak would kind of match with all of this. Let's get it all underneath there. And we are pretty much done. Just a, a few little minimalistic things to do in the garden. Which would make it look alright. Like that. Really minimalistic. Like that. Maybe we could have these what you could do just so it looks a little bit less silly you can go down into this and then you can maybe make a staircase coming up where this two is here so at the back here let's every other one like that or what you can do is close it off completely in fact, we can keep those on the inside because uh, we could use them as shelves. So let's fill all this in. And then wherever you would like windows, you can choose. So you could say, maybe I want a window for just these three here. Fill them in from the outside, just to let a little bit of light in. And then, of course, just by here, Let's say where it gets to this point, we can have our stairs coming down. Like that. We could double these up. You could even take out a window like this, so it doesn't interrupt with everything. And you've got a nice little place where you can go up and around. Like that. So you can move the stair a bit further across, but I'm fine with that. Just a nice little area going down here. Keeping it super simple. Let's um, have a look outside now. Okay, yes, yeah, so let's have a little balcony stopping at that point. I think that might be all right. And then this going round. And it can join on with the other one. Join onto there. And I kind of think, just for this bit, put that there. Maybe we could have a double bush here with something like a spruce. Let's get the glass filled in for here as well. That's looking really sleek, nice, and yeah, it's looking good. Now we can just get some simple kind of bushes. One, two, one, two. You can even put them down here as well. Every other one or something. And then it's just about adding whatever you like to it. Just kind of adding your own little touches. But I think there we go. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to keep it super simple. A nice little sleek design. And you can keep adding to this obviously. You can maybe have a little garden coming from here. You can put your plants in there. Or some more of these. Like that. Um, but yeah, slap a like on the video if you want to see more little kind of small minimalistic builds like this and if you want to see bigger ones as well because uh, I'll make sure I do that. So down there, that looks pretty cool. So there you go, guys. Almost addicted sign now. See you in the next video. Nice and simplistic, easy tutorial for you. Very nice.